this is grand. A town like yours or mine, where life doesn't always turn out the way you think it will. This is Tom. He's down on his luck, but he has big career plans. <laughs> I want to live the truth of my life. I want to be what I've always wanted to be. An entrepreneur. With a kid. Put down that toilet and come to bed. <laughs> this is Wayne. An officer of the Grand Police Force. He lives with his parents. Night, Dad. Night, Mom. Janice lives with her daughter, Etta, and she's trying to kick an old habit. You eat too much junk. So you smoke. It's grand. Next. There. I quit. There. I'm thin. <laughs> Volvo 240 has a reputation for surviving accidents, and we at Subaru have always been impressed by that. So we gave the Subaru Legacy Wagon unibody construction, like the Volvo 240. But we also gave it full-time four-wheel drive and anti-lock brakes, because the best way to survive an accident is not to get into one. Factory-to-dealer cash incentives on selected models make it a great time to come into your Subaru dealer. like this, it's reassuring to know that MetLife has the resources to pay every single customer claim, no matter how many come in at one time. Get Met. It pays. The winds of change are blowing with a chicken sandwich made a whole new way. It's flame broiled to perfection, which means it can only come from one place. Introducing the BK Broiler Flame Broiled Chicken Sandwich. To make a great tasting chicken sandwich, sometimes you've got to break the rules. And now, after 4 p.m., buy one BK Broiler and get a second for just 99 cents. These are no good without coffee. So have some coffee? I can't drink coffee without smoking. How long have you been nicotine free? Two hellish days. She snaps at me for the least little thing. I do not. Get your hands off my donuts. <laughs> Are you wearing eyeshadow? Let me see your mouth homework. It's okay. Uh... Etta plus Dylan equals heart. Maybe that's the new man. Shut up, Wayne. <laughs> should have gone to California with Dylan like he asked me to. Honey, he wasn't right for you. Try to forget about him. But I really like Except it. forget about him. <laughs> I'm going to school. Mom, do us all a favor. Smoke. <laughs> you know, since we went out, I've been thinking, you know what our mistake was on our date? Wayne, let's just try to put our date behind us, okay? I have put it behind me. I think I know what my mistake was on our first date. I shouldn't have taken you to a hotel. <laughs> Even if it was your idea. It was a bad idea. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, I did know what I was thinking. I just didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Let's just try to get back to where we were before. That's what I'm saying. Let's change the subject. You know, I've been thinking about moving out of my folks' house and getting a place of my own. It wouldn't hurt if I just sucked on a cigarette but didn't light it, <laughs> would it? I know, I know. I remember feeling one in my jacket pocket. Having a place of my own wouldn't affect our relationship. 
Only instead of me coming over here all the time, you could come over to my place. We could barbecue, watch TV. You could spend the night. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing here? Hello, Janice. What a lovely place you have. Thanks, Dot. Did you get a deer already? Where's Dad? Oh, the deer and your father out in the station wagon. Wayne, uh, your father had a little hunting accident. What happened? He was shot by a deer. <laughs> <laughs> he was shot by a deer? Is he okay? Uh, we can talk about it on the way to the morgue. <gasps> He's dead? Well, I'm no expert, but his tongue is hanging out the same way the deer's is. Let's go. Well, I'll just get my coat. Buzz Kaczmarski was five years younger than I am. His heart went like that. A bullet went through it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you never know. If I ever croak. I know, sir. If I find you dead one morning, I'm to hire a young lady and place her in bed beside you. <laughs> I'm to vehemently deny that you died in action, thus assuring that the story is accepted as truth. Beats falling down the bathtub. <laughs> Dad? Desmond? I finally know what to do with my life. <laughs> Every week, you finally know what to do with your life. Why do you face up to the fact you're 32 years old and totally directionless? Desmond, you, you know, I've been doing my cable access show. Don't think with Norris Weldon. Right. Anyway, I noticed my crew kept cracking up all the time. So finally, I went over and asked Bill what was so funny. Who's Bill? My crew. <laughs> Thank you. And he said you, meaning me. That's when it hit me. Laughter, it's like enlightenment. It's nonverbal, it's instant, it makes you feel good. Plus, chicks love comics, so now I am one. Well, I have an act. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Or should I say gentlemen and gentlemen? Get us down. Good. Any out-of-towners here tonight? It's okay, I'm used to it. I tell you, I got no respect. Even as a kid, I got no respect. And the first time I played doctor, I got sued for malpractice. Well, stop it! Grow up! <laughs> I am so sorry, Wayne. If there's anything that I can do... Well, of course we'll be there. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, then. Okay, you take care of yourself. Bye. Get out your black dress, Carol Ann. We're going to a funeral. Why are we going to the funeral, Tom? You didn't even know Bud Kesmersky. I barely knew Bud Kesmersky. Well, I'm an entrepreneur, Carol Ann. I have ideas. I need investors to make them reality. This is a real break for us. We can finally start making some contact. This doesn't seem right, using someone's death to further your own ambitions. <sighs> We've been here two months since your uncle fired me from the piano works. I've been a pariah in this town. You're not a piranha, Tom. A pariah. Whatever it is. Well, I'm an outsider. I'm too... <laughs> I'm too urbane, I'm too progressive, well, I'm too something. Well, yeah. Then... This is a perfect opportunity to change my image. Everyone will be united by common grief. Uh, people will be vulnerable. I'll be vulnerable. They'll like that. But a man died. Yes, and from the dead, living things grow. That's the natural cycle, Carol Ann. <laughs> but Kazmersky is the mulch for our future. <laughs> Mom, why do you tell Janice how it happened? How what happened? Uh, she doesn't have to tell me again if she doesn't want to. No, no, she wants to. Oh. Go ahead, Mom. Well, Bud had just bagged this huge buck. And, and then you and Dad dragged him over to a tree and strung him up by his hind hoofs. Wayne, who's telling this story, me or you? Gutting an animal was one of the few things Bud and I enjoyed doing together. At that point, the deer, which they assumed was deceased, twitched, kicking Dad's 30 out 6 which was leaning against the tree. That darn rifle fell on a rock and boom! <laughs> you should have seen the look on Bud's face. <gasps> oh, I want to show you the new dress I bought for the funeral. Yeah, why don't you give my mom a hand? Sure, and you can tell me all about your young man. Well, he's from California, so he's cute. Uh-huh. Do you believe in love at first sight? Sure! <laughs> Wayne, your father. Yeah. He didn't smoke, did he? 
Janice, don't you think she's been acting a little strange the last couple of days? She's in shock. She's lost her husband. I remember how tough it was for me when Eddie walked out. Maybe it would have been easier if he'd been shot through the heart. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. So a wife is capable of having murderous thoughts about her husband? Oh, yeah. Why? What are you thinking? A cruise ticket? Uh-huh. Wayne, I thought we were clear about our relationship. It's my mom's. She paid for it two weeks before the accident. Passage for one on the Warsaw Queen. <laughs> oh. I always prayed someday I'd handle a homicide case, but I never thought the primary suspect would be my mom. Ah, oh, come on. Now you're gonna say, huh, just kidding, right, Wayne? Afraid not. I mean, you have to admit, Janice, she hardly seems like she's in mourning. People have different ways of expressing their grief. Ta-da! <laughs> Dear Nexus, since I've used your products, the change in my hair is remarkable. At Nexus, we get letters every day because people who use Nexus love what it does for their hair. I noticed a difference the very first time I used it. For once, a product that really lives up to its promises. Nothing works better. It's worth the trip to the salon. I just had to say thanks. When you're looking for results, look for Nexus. It works the first time, and that's the beauty of it. And yet, we on yet? Jordan gets the ball. He drives down the left side of the fairway. Bo Jackson catches it at the wall and fires a bullet to McEnroe. Yes. Oh, my. And now a word from our sponsor. Nice shoes. Gretzky takes the puck up the ice and fires it back in. Out of the bunker for a home run. Score. Game, set, and touchdown. Nice shoes. And now a word from our sponsor. Holy cow. Not since everybody liked Ike. Not since a real Rocky became champ. Not since 1952 has a luxury sedan been named Motor Trend's Car of the Year. Introducing the new V8-powered Lincoln Town Car. The most spacious, the quietest, and the most technologically advanced luxury sedan ever to win Motor Trend's Car of the Year. Lincoln. What a luxury car should be. Mersky, Budza, uh, ex-wife, widow, whatever. I'm Tom Smithson. This is my wife, Carol Ann. We can't tell you how sorry we are. Why? Is it a secret? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks. Let me take your coats. Maybe we're a little early. Oh, no, not really. Of course, I did expect a few more people. But you see, Bud is a security guard at the piano works. So he sits in this little room and watches four little monitors. So he knows a lot of people. But they don't know him. <laughs> did Mr. Kazmersky leave you well provided for? Did he have insurance? Yes, thank you. Do you have any plans for the money? Tom, listen. I don't want to make a judgment, but... Do you really think this is appropriate behavior? <laughs> the widow's making bad jokes. Well, shh, I don't care. It was really embarrassing at the funeral when the minister had to keep shushing you because you were talking to that guy from Philadelphia. That guy from Philadelphia happens to have pioneered the concept of credit dentistry for children. Okay. He's Bud Kazmersky's half-brother. You've heard of him. He's the tooth fairy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at her. Why don't you have something to eat, Wayne? It'll make you feel better. I doubt it. Oh, Wayne. Listen, I really have to give your mom credit. She's being very brave about this. Hey, that doesn't mean she did it. <laughs> that doesn't mean she did what? No. Close your mouth, Carolyn, and keep it closed. Wayne's just being... He's a cop under stress. You know how they are. He's nuts, okay? <laughs> so, Father, did you buy the killer deer story? <laughs> it's obvious. Stop, plugged him, and blame the deer. Kind of a case of the buck stops here, huh? <laughs> I don't remember that. One. That has got to be the funniest thing I have ever heard. Well, did you can.
can certainly turn the phrase. <laughs> I simply said fun will be missed. <laughs> oh, you stop it! Or have an accident right here. <laughs> Janice, 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 you wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah. About what? Business. Ah. Oh. You have to excuse me, Doc. Business. Oh, I heard that about you. All work and no play. <laughs> I'm cursed. <laughs> you saved my life. I'm not entirely clear on your idea, but I like your enthusiasm and energy. Thank you. Thank you. I don't invest in ideas. Oh. I invest in people. Oh. May I have your attention, please? I thought it might be nice to pay tribute to my father by remembering moments we've shared with him. Who'd like to start? <laughs> Why don't I start? Then? Uh, Bud Kazmersky was my father for 21 years. Uh, I can vividly recall how he used to sit in his recliner night after night and watch TV. On Wednesday nights, if I finished my chores, he'd let me watch Chips with him. So I can thank my dad and, and Larry Wilcox, the other guy from Chips, for my interest in law enforcement. And, uh, anybody else? <clears throat> what can you say about Bud Kazmersky that hasn't been said already? <laughs> He was kind, he was giving, he was compassionate. And there are three things that have never been said about him. <laughs> Kazmersky, yeah. Had I known it was a Polish funeral, I would have worn my bowling shirt. <laughs> Look, a walking ovation. <laughs> oh, a tough room. What is this, a funeral? <laughs> I was reading in the paper today. You ever notice that people die in alphabetical order? <laughs> Oh, please, don't be a pencil. <laughs> I'm not gonna light it, so don't say anything. I'd kind of like to be alone, Janice, if you don't mind. Sure, Wang. What are you doing? Is that loaded? Yep, there's a round in the chamber in the safety's off. It's ready to fire. Wang! I've dropped this weapon 106, 107 times in every conceivable way, and it doesn't fire. Why are we trying to kid ourselves, Janice? We know who shot my father, and it was no deer. Wayne, I've known your mother since I was a kid. She's not capable of murder. What are you gonna do? Arrest your mother, make her stand trial, and then possibly see her spend the rest of her life in a cell in Muncie State Prison? When I took my oath, there was nothing in it about making exceptions for relatives. But you're her son. I'm her son. I'm a cop. I'm her son. I'm a cop. Wayne. Son, cop, son, cop, son. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just been a little on edge since I quit smoking. Oh, Janice, what am I going to do? Oh, Wayne. I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, but probably not sorry enough to... No. <laughs> So I guess I uh, humiliated myself at Bud Kazmersky's wake, didn't I? I know how you feel. You do? Yes. You humiliated me, too. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Has there ever been a time when you, you were proud of me? You know, felt anything positive towards me at all? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Yes, you were about six years old, and you'd just broken a vase that was given to me by Mamie Eisenhower. And you were putting the pieces under the couch when I walked in, and you looked up at me with a tear in your little eye, and you said, I'm too young to die. <laughs> I never laughed harder in my life. <laughs> 
So what you're saying is, you think I'm funny? Just the once. <laughs> what do you think, honey? The texture naugahyde or the floral chintz? Mom, we need to talk. I can't get the gun to fire the way he said it did. Well, I guess it's just one of those once-in-a-lifetime things. <laughs> you think I killed your father, don't you? Well, I don't want to, but you have to admit you had the opportunity. You had the weapon. There were no witnesses. The only thing missing from this case is motive. What could your motive have been? I mean, after 47 happy years of marriage. Sit down, Wayne. When I met your father, I was only 25. Other than a photo of Stuart Granger that came in a frame I bought in the dime store, I never kissed a man. <laughs> it was 1943. There was a war on. Our first two dates were very nice. He was a gentleman. But then on the third date, he told me he volunteered for combat and that he wanted to, uh, well, he wanted to uh, consummate with me. <laughs> so we drove to Harrisburg, got married, and spent three days in the hotel room just consummating. <laughs> I never knew any of this stuff. Kind of wish I still didn't. <laughs> But when he came back from the war, he was different. I don't know. Maybe it was all that marching. Whatever. It seemed all he wanted to do was just sit down. We were the first people in Grand to own a recliner. He cashed all our war bonds and bought a television. The combination was irresistible to Bud. <laughs> We never went on a vacation. I've never even been out of the state. Every Christmas, he gave me the same Whitman sampler box. He just put new candy in it. <laughs> Not even chocolate. Once, he just put chiclets in it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you're hurting, Wayne. But for the first time in my life, I am truly free. Oh, my God, Mom. You just hung yourself. Wayne, honey, if I went before a jury of my peers and confessed, they'd say it was self-defense. <laughs> so you killed him? No. <laughs> All this talk has made me hungry. I'm going out and fix myself a crepe Suzette. What should I do now? Well, I'm asking you. The only good advice you ever gave me was to stay away from your Uncle Guffy. <laughs> Why should I expect for you to have an answer for me now? I'm, I'm talking to furniture. <laughs> it fired. Mom, the gun fired. Mom, you're innocent. Mom, did you hear me? Mom? <laughs> Grand will be right back. The act went well today. Yeah, except for your knee in my face. Sorry about that. But Bill, the next time, why don't you go out to the trunk and I'll go out to windshield? But I'm afraid of the dark. Joe, I think you ought to get smaller shoes. And <laughs> I think you should lose some weight. Need a ride? I've got plenty of room. The practical, affordable Mitsubishi Mirage. It has the most passenger space of any car in its class, so there's more room for everyone's knees and noses and elbows and shoes and hats. You can't feel about the complete nutrition in Friskies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like feeling Frisky. I like feeling fine. There's only one cat food whose name says it all. So bring out the Frisky in your cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A breakthrough by Miller has produced Sharps, a non-alcoholic brew with real beer taste. Miller's Sharps lets beer drinkers keep their edge.
dear Wayne, arm is fine, Polish people are friendly, and you can get decent Chinese food here. Miss you, love you, hope you fix the kitchen door. XO, 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 Mom. <laughs> In sports, the National Hockey League featured a busy five-game slate last evening. The front-running Flyers ripped the Sabres 14-3. The Canadian... I'm gonna go get myself a girl. <laughs> See you, Dad. <laughs> When the Tooth Fairy sees this proposal, he'll leave five million under my pillow. Tom? Mm -hmm. If I died before you, would you get married again? No. <laughs> so, you don't like being married very much? No, I love being married, honey. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I probably would get married again. <laughs> So you're saying you could love someone else? Carol Ann, to be absolutely honest with you, I think if you died, I'd just have to kill myself. Oh, honey, that's great. <laughs> Can't sleep, huh? You know, it's been 10 days since you smoked. I'm really proud of you, Mom. Good night. This is Blair Underwood, Jonathan Rollins of L.A. Law. I rest my case. L.A. Law does television justice. Next. And Alf's moving to a new night and time on Saturday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Followed by Amen, The Golden Girls, and Empty Nest. Saturday.